Hello, Conway. Welcome to our Just Talk series. My name is Shawana Rogers, and I'm the Diversity and Economic Development Coordinator, and we're glad to have you tune in with us on today. Just Talk is a recent series that we started to inform the citizens of Conway of some things that go on in city government. So we're excited to have you with us today, and we're excited to have our director for the physical plant and um, code enforcement, Mr. Spencer Clausen with us. But before we dive into Spencer, we have a special guest from our a special guest appearance from our mayor, Bart Castleberry, and he has a special announcement for us. Well, Spencer, you know, you came to us, went to work in code enforcement, and you stood out there and did a great job. Uh, of course, everybody does their a great job in code enforcement, but you uh, you just had some potential there that I thought we were kind of wasting you, so uh, I offered Spencer the job of director of uh, not only code enforcement, but also uh, physical plant. And he has stood out there, uh, uh, even during the recent snow, he and his crew were out working and Spencer was right out there leading with them. And so when it came time for the employees in this building to select uh, employee of the year for 2020 or actually department head of the year they uh, they voted by you unanimously so <laughs> so the city of Conway would like to thank you for your dedication and loyal commitment to the community your constant efforts and continued support are gratefully appreciated and so Man, you, you've just exceeded everything. You've done a great Absolutely. job. Man, look at y'all getting the drop on me. I, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. So, Spencer, how does that feel? I mean, before I dive into the questions, I mean, since um, I've known you, you've been a hard worker um, with your transition into physical plan from code enforcement and now being the director of both. I know for us, any time that we give you a call, you are there to make sure that everything is taken care of, and we certainly appreciate it. So I think you're more than deserving of it. And... We're glad to be able to surprise you with that <laughs> on the show because you were not aware. Well, that was wrong of y'all. I, I, uh, I do appreciate it, though. This is honestly very touching. I, uh, when, when the mayor put faith in me to, to take over at the physical plant and then extended that faith into code enforcement, I was, you know, uh, it, w it was a great honor, and I did not want to let him down or the citizens of Conway or, or anybody else. And, and I've, I, this just... It means, honestly, it means more than, than you know. Again, congratulations. Well, you are very you. deserving. <laughs> thank you. So with that being said, so tell us a little bit about your position in the city of Conway. Well, uh, my position in the city of Conway, uh, let me kind of start a little bit from the beginning. I hired out uh, several years ago at Street Department, and I got, uh, I kind of cut my teeth, so to speak, with the city out there working with the uh, pavement marking crew, signs and signals. I uh, had some really good coworkers out there, enjoyed myself uh, greatly. There was a, a time where they were going to expand code enforcement and add an additional officer. And, uh, and when, when all that happened, I was fortunate enough to get that position and I, and I moved over into to code enforcement. I worked that a year and that's when, when the mayor asked me to take over at the physical plant. So I've actually kind of had my toes into a few different departments throughout my career in the city. Oh, and awesome. uh, as as I took over at the physical plant, we, we made just, you know, a, a few changes. My personnel over there, the guys, the, the team that I have at the physical plant is they are, the, they are the stars of the show. They are so, it's such a fun, unique group over there. Uh, the atmosphere is, is unlike any of the other departments that I've, I've worked in. What is something significant about the physical plant that the average citizen would know? I think probably the, the, the main thing that I'd like to point out and highlight is just how much we do. Um, and and that's, Absolutely. that's volume of work, but also the type of work we do. Mm -hmm. I mean, even today, uh, they, they've come in, they went to the, the warming center. That's, mm -hmm. It's at the end of, end of the time for the warming center. That's all been cleaned up. They had to fog it for COVID. Um, they fog that, keep that safe, sanitary, and healthy for the citizens who are be coming to the Don Owen Center. After, uh, after the warming station has been cleared out. Uh, they've done two code enforcement cleanups. They've had to take things to sanitation. Uh, we're getting ready to do some paintings. They're gathering that stuff up. And we had a small leak that had to be addressed, so they did some plumbing. So the thing with physical plant 
is there's probably a lot of things around town that you might say, well, whose job is that to take care of? And, and that's our job. And that's one thing I take great pride in. With that, talking about the physical plan and talking about code enforcement, what would you say your favorite aspect of each is? Favorite aspect of each, uh, hands down the people. Um, the, I, I, could, I said earlier that the people that I work with make coming to work fun. Um, we, uh, we get a lot done. We, we have this really good shorthand with each other where we understand what jobs have to be done. There's a, a divisional labor such that we, we can get the task done without being too hard on any person. But what's awesome is when you have a, a major task that has to be undertaken, mm -hmm. uh, for example, the snow, just the ability to everybody pitch in, do it, and work hard, and that's that's a, that's a, it's a great thing to see when when the when the all the parts are working together right. as a cohesive unit. That's very exciting to see, and and I see it on practically a daily a daily basis. My next thing is, you know, a lot of times we have a lot of citizens that want to know how can we get involved. Is there a way that the general public can be involved or get involved with yeah. maybe code enforcement or? Um, the well, physical plan, I know they can always contact your office, you know, yes. with things, but. Th that would be the main thing is um, to, to contact us. If, if you have a, uh, if there's a complaint, bring it to our attention. Uh, a lot of times people will say, well, oh, this has been this way for so long, X amount of weeks or X amount of months or whatever the case may be. Well, even though our officers are out driving around looking for things, it's impossible to canvas the entire city. Right. Uh, we, I mean, we do our best, but there are just limitations. There's some things you may be looking at one thing and drive by and miss something else. It's just kind of nature of nature of driving. Uh, I would say that if, if, a, if a citizen wanted to help, it would be uh, a couple things. You've got the option of calling any complaints in or putting them in on our, mm -hmm. on our email. Uh, that's that's a good way to help right there, and that all can be done through the city's website. You can just search code enforcement, and it's going to be all right there. That's probably the best way is just to bring our attention to things. Uh, the the other the other way that you could possibly really help is just to kind of maybe familiar yourself with the ordinances and say if you were going to store something for a period of time, or you're in some type of transition to where uh, there might be something that's going to sit outside your house for for a period of time. You know, you could even call us and let us know that's going to happen so that we kind of say, okay, we're not going to write it up, but we'll keep an eye on it or, you know, right. give, you, give you a little bit of time. Uh, that would be familiarizing yourself with the ordinance and avoid getting out of compliance would be, would be helpful. Uh, one thing that I want to make sure that I, that I get in here today is Joe Hopper and his crew at Sanitation have a terrific program of their bulk item pickup, okay? And all you have to do is call and schedule that. So much of what we write up can be picked up for free if you just schedule a sanitation. So if you had one takeaway to leave with us today, what would it be? My takeaway would be this. And I've, I've, I've seen this so many times. I think this is going to be very important for the citizens to, to hear. When you see that safety green, I think everybody knows what that safety kind of greenish yellow. I think it's actually chartreuse, but I'm not positive of the name of that color. Uh, when you see that, when it's whether it be my team out working, the street department out working, or just some other contractor, if they're working in the right of way or in the road and they're trying to do something and clean something up, make something safer or function, or there might be something that's leaking they're trying to stop the, the water on, there's, there's no telling what we're doing. And I would really like to ask the citizens, when you see that safety green or orange cones or flashing lights, that you would, you would understand that these people are working hard at a task that they don't want to be in your way. They want to safely do their job and get back to their families. And I would really ask to, for people to keep in mind, when you see something that might be an inconvenience or it might be slowing you down for a little bit to get to lunch or to an appointment or whatever, that these people are out working very hard to try to get that done and get out of your way. So I'll give you my takeaway for today. <laughs> my takeaway is we're here to help. So if you have any questions or if there's something you're not sure about or you're in a position to where you may have gotten a little friendly tag on your door, don't hesitate to give Spencer's department a call and physical plan or code enforcement. Again, it's on conwayarkansas.gov. You can reach them and they are there and always willing to help. That's right. So thank you, Spencer, for joining Absolutely. us today. Thank this you. Wraps up our Just Talk session. Um, look forward to our next Just Talk. It'll be in April. So if you can have any questions or you have anything that you would like to know, feel free to send an email to diversity at conwayarkansas.gov. Thank you for tuning in.